Watch this video till the end if you want to know the correct answer for this question and also few points about this important skin condition which is related to dermatitis. Hello friends, myself Dr. Madhuran Shinvas, Certified Dermatologist from India discussing dermatology topics as important IBQs, PYQs and MCQs in my YouTube channel. Okay, so if you want to get all these notifications of the videos which are I'm going to make, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. The mission and vision are very clear to help out all the students who are pre-PG students and also who those who are right now pursuing the dermatology course. So not only just the studies, we should also have compassion. We as doctors should learn this. And uh, you can see this great person, uh, uh, Sindhu Thai. Uh, she is also called as uh, mother of the orphans and she recently expired. And uh, she uh, says that uh, we have two hands. One is to help ourselves and the second one is to help the others. So uh, we doctors also are going to help others so i will say first finish the you know deed which is at your hands that is to get into the pg's uh, uh, you know branch which are uh, you like or which are you deserve and then the second uh, step you can do that is to help the patients okay always keep this in mind so that you will get daily motivation so that you can continue your preparation now coming to the question the following are true about the condition given in the image except so you need to identify the wrong statement regarding this condition in which you are able to see there are some vesicles deep seated vesicles uh, in the palms so these are deep seated vesicles which are present over the palms okay and whenever you get to see this kind of a picture the diagnosis which you should think about is form folics and uh, I am very happy that uh, this question which I have asked in the telegram. So almost all the students have marked the correct answer that is option C, option C. Very good all of you students, okay. Uh, so yes, option C is the answer here. So let us see one by one uh, each of the options and what is this form folics. So we will come back to the options at a later point. So first let us see what is this formphalic. So it is also known as vesicular eczema of the palms and soles. It's a type, basically it's a type of hand eczema. It's a type of hand eczema. Since there are vesicles present here, this is also called as vesicular eczema. And since the lesions are predominantly seen over the palms and soles, it's called as vesicular eczema of the palms and soles. So what are the uh, predisposing factors for this condition? It was observed that those individuals who have a dry skin, who have a tendency to have a dry skin, or those who have the filagrin gene mutations, that is those who have atopic dermatitis or atopic diathesis, and also those who are exposed to certain allergens and irritants. So all these individuals are having a predisposition to develop the form follicles. Okay. So in which clinically we can see these kind of beautiful sago green or tapioca vesicular lesions, uh, which are deep seated vesicles which are present over the palms and also they can be seen over the soles also. And the funny part about these uh, lesions is they are they are pruritic okay they are pruritic and also they are painful so the patient is going to have both uh, itching and also extreme uh, tenderness when we try to palpate these lesions so option c says they are painful but not pruritic and uh, uh, this statement is right except for this not word okay so that is the reason why this is the answer in this particular question and if you look at the other options, more common in people with history of atopy, yes, this is absolutely right. And the final last option says topical shirts can be used for this condition. And this is also right. Why? Because the treatment of this condition is very uh, tricky. Uh, it can be very simple. Like for example, if you say the patient to avoid certain irritants and allergens, they might uh, get uh, normal, they might get normal skin. And the next step which we can do is advise them topical corticosteroids. And topical corticosteroids are the topical treatment of choice in this uh, case. And if the patient is having some recalcitrant and difficult to treat uh, type of form folics, then we are going to advise some oral medications. And uh, systemic retinoids like for example, elite retinoin is uh, the preferred retinoid. 
or in certain patients we prefer uh, immunosuppression if the condition is very very debilitating then only we are going to advise immunosuppression in the form of uh, methotrexate or azathioprine or uh, cyclosporine okay but these are reserved for those patients who are having extreme or re extremely recalcitrant type of form follicles or we can also uh, give them a pua therapy that is soralin and uva therapy so this is uh, in brief about form follicles okay and uh, this is tomorrow's question if you know the answer for this please do comment uh, below wrong about histopathological examination of psoriasis epidermal thickening suprapapillary thinning cogoid uh, spongiform pustules potteries microapsis so what do you think is the answer for this question please do leave it in the comment section i hope all of you have enjoyed this uh, uh, type of videos if you like them please do give a thumbs up so that i will be encouraged and motivated to make these kind of similar videos in the future also and do you can join my telegram and instagram groups so all the links are there in the description below okay so again uh, please uh, have compassion for the patients uh, and think that you are going to get the seat mainly to help the future help your future patients in that way you can easily crack the neat exam so thank you so much for watching the video till this point do like the video friends do not uh, forget and uh, yes do subscribe to my youtube channel so if you wish to get uh, this kind of uh, uh, short short videos and also do share uh, to your friends those who are having some uh, doubts regarding dermatology why because i will try to cover almost all the topics uh, regarding a dermatological conditions which are important for neat pg examination and i thank you so much uh, friends once again myself dr majran shinwas uh, signing off. Uh, happy learning dermatology. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanam. Sarvejana Sukhina Bhavantu. Thank you so much. Bye bye.